Welcome to the hydraulic press channel. Today we are going to compare our two hydraulic presses, old PS new one. So we have chosen great targets. We are going to cross the same object here and then with the big press and see what is the difference. And I think we are going to start with thick steel pipe. Whoa! Oh. It sounded like it was a strong. Yeah, you can yeah you can hear what's going on. And that's interesting. It shouldn't slow down much because it's like three-phase motor running on constant speed. But you clearly hear that stuff is like working really hard. Yeah, that was the old machine's performance. Let's go to the new machine. Hey, check out this. There is the press, and then there is going to be the door, there is Hanna's window, there is my, <laughs> my window, there is bonus window, all the walls are now here, and the uh, roof is missing, and my plan for the roof is to make it from AR500 steel, or a bit similar, it's different brand name here, it's called Hardox here. But I'm going to go with four millimeters, I think that's... Or should I go six? I have to check. My goal is to make everything withstand 308 rifle bullets. And that includes also the windows. I ordered bulletproof windows. They are 500 euros each on this side size. And then the window framing is also going to be from AR500. So these are going to be bullet bulletproof as hell. And also the door is going to be from AR500. It's going to weigh about 100 kilos. That's a bulletproof door, so it's, it's no joke. And yeah, it's quite echo here, but I have ordered like 20 square meters of like the panels that remove echo. So when we glue those here, then it's nice. Then I ordered uh, lights like this. These are 300 watts. I ordered two that are 500 watts. And we are going to use them all. So a lot more spotlight power. And then I asked from Valtavalo, who made those lights and gave them to us six years ago. Do they want to give a second pile of LED lights? I think we are going to need about the same amount because this is going to be stupidly bright. This is going to be super, super bright for high speed cameras. And if this is super bright, everything else has to be like also pretty goddamn bright. Otherwise it just looks like blackness. So we are going to get a lot of those high quality LEDs on the roof and for the background and the sides. And yeah, this is like moving all the time along. There's many things still to do, but let's crush this. And check what I have here. Microphone, and it goes here. So now you can hear pump through the wall. The windows are not here yet. And also this has just, just barely two short electric line. So we have to uh, extend that to get to use the windows. So one more, one more go with this old friend. Okay, this should be Pretty quickly over. Oh my god, uh oh. Mm -hmm. I don't have the computer ready so we can see outside of the bunker what the press is doing but by eyeballing it I'm going to call that this took more than 40 tons and we had to use just a small and medium size pump so we only get half speed with this so it took 11 seconds so almost exactly the same as the old one but this could do twice as strong pipe with this same speed still 
But it depends on the hardness of the thing, the speed. Okay, and then the next one. Part of big ass lock. And as you see, they are fresh out from the Finnish nature. So they are frozen. I'm not sure will it make it easier or harder, but they're frozen. Mm. And here we go. Oh, that's super hard. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, now it goes with this. And the start was slow because this machine, you have to manually choose. Are you going to use big pump, less force and more speed, or small pump, more force but less speed. So first I tried to crush with big pump, didn't have enough power, 70 tons wasn't enough. Then I switched to small pump, got the 150 tons, that was enough, but it's quite slow. And then I switched back to the big pump when it's already weaker. But the big machine, it can do all of this automatically. So let's see how much faster is it going to be. Oh, that's super satisfying. I want to do one more piece of this. Uh, we had some Weird setting problem, we only used 100 tons on end of the last one. So I want to see like the end result with the full, full power. Ah. Yeah, that's way more like it. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit annoying not to have the computer yet set up. On outside of the bunker, we are a bit blind of the like settings when we are using the machine because we don't want to <laughs> stand here next to the machine. But we should get the computer next week so then we can all the time see what is going on and change the settings as we go. Then we are going to crush some shit paper. And the harder you push, the harder the paper gets. So let's see. What is the difference on crushed sheet paper after both machines? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's, that sounds quite hard, sheet paper. Okay, and now let's compare, what's the difference? This is warm. The diameter is the same. There is like very small difference on thickness, like two millimeters, and then the sound. Hmm, we need to do a like hammer test. Yeah. Hammer time. Push it. Okay. Hey. The <laughs> this is interesting. The paper that's crushed harder is weaker. Yeah. Check this like. Hey, it's starting to crack. It's like, this is too much, it's get brittle. I think the 150 tons is the best for toilet paper, toilet paper like super material. Okay, then we are going to crush some coins. 
And we have two types of coins that we are going to cross. Can you hand a show to the camera? That's my pick. It's like copper coin or something. Mm -hmm. and it's, we quite, it's quite thin. But uh, those we are going to put three on top of each other. And then those we are going to cross just one, one coin at a time. And the coin crush setup isn't optimal because, as I said, we don't have all the safety things going on yet. So I don't dare to use hardened tools. I made these two small tools out of really hard steel, but it's not hardened. So the coins might see, still just sink slightly into the tools. So this is probably not the best that the big machine can do. And we're definitely going to revisit this when we get good hardened tools and safety aspects to use them. But uh, let's try with my, my coins. Well, let's, let's start with Hannah's coin. So this goes here and this goes here. So now we have on both sides really hard steel. Okay, the coin disappeared. I think I was right when I said it's going to make a like small dent there. Yeah, but also get crushed. But let's try with three of these coins because when you have more coins, it's thicker and it's not going to be able just to like hide inside of the tools. Okay, that's ready. Okay, and I'm a bit afraid of this one because we are going to use so much of power in so small steel parts that I'm not sure can these take, take this. But um, we are not going to watch through our blast shield. We are going to just be behind the concrete wall and just just listen what's going to happen. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay, the steel parts are still here. Oh my oh, god! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not sure about the coins, but look at this shit. Yeah, you can read the coin from that tool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we definitely need to revisit the coins with harder tools. This also sunk here. Yeah. Oh my god, this is terrifying. And let's do these. Now we have more coins. So it might be that we do more, more for the coins and less for the tools. Give me my coin. Ooh, that's like... I knew that this is like borderline stupid. <laughs> these are so small parts. Think about it, it's like 300, mm -hmm. holy shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's like... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is good dent there. Let, yeah, I'm going to show it after this. Let's make yeah. it deeper. God, this is going to eat through tools. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, give the... Yeah, uh, the old one. I can't get this open. It, uh, it welded three coins together. They are like this. Yeah, there's a small difference. Let's compare the, th the two other ones. Yeah. yeah, those are exactly the same. No. Oh, they aren't. You can see ah. that. Oh, it's thinner. It's thinner. Not by a huge margin. No, but some. 
Yeah, but the coins definitely need harder tools mm -hmm. because this is like now we messed up the printing with the second <laughs> coins. But hey, hey, lift, lift yeah, the piston up. Lift. Let let let's solve this. Check out that. That's like two or three millimeters. Mm. That's terrifying. Yes, this was definitely learning experience for us. And I think the best use case for the speed is still the like satisfying videos where we have like pretty weak items that I have to now fast replay on TikTok and platforms like that. And for the extrusion type of videos, like pushing stuff through one millimeter hole, I can match the tool diameters to take advantage of the full power. With the full speed we get 40 tons, so that's one sweet spot. And then with the half speed we are going to get 120 tons, so that's the second spot where to aim with those tools. Yeah, but hey, next week uh, we have everything again, lot farther away, so subscribe the channel, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and have a